Three sounds ten minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One, and this is ten minutes or less. So let's start the timer. Yes, sir. So TNT, I bought a new phone. Right? Yeah, you did. I haven't bought a new phone in a long time. It's been years and years. Congratulations, finally taking a big leap. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, you know, I com I compare getting a new phone to like getting tires for your car. It's like you uh no. you get it. And everything seems exactly the same except for you spend a ton of money. What? No. So, so like when you get when you get a no. when you get new tires, it's like, oh, I spent five hundred bucks, got but I'm driving. And then when you get a new phone, the only difference is it's faster and bigger. Like, but it's still an Android. That's it's still great. A, yeah, but it's not like there are tons no of things about myself I wish were faster and bigger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe slower and bigger. No, faster. I want a, oh, I want a jackhammer. Oh, yeah. Dude. I thought you meant uh, pre premature ejaculations. Oh, no, Jesus. Slow down. I want but, uh, bigger ejaculations? What? No, no. You want to slow down. You want to want to be slower and bigger. <laughs> Never mind. Anyways, but the point I'm making about this is like, you know, it's, it's yeah, you get a faster phone. It's whatever. But like it's you're using the same apps. You're you're it's basically a lot of the I same. Get, but you get like the screen is different. Like it feels different when you're looking at your new phone is bigger. Yeah. Uh, the screen display is better. Like the apps are in different places. You get to remake everything. Yeah. I, you uh, get a new screensaver, a new a new uh, background, a new lock screen. Yeah. I'm still working on setting that up because that takes forever. It does. It takes time. And yeah. I like actually I enjoy that time frame when you get a new phone. I got one recently, like maybe like a year ago. Yeah. I like that time frame when you get a new phone and you're starting you're trying to get it set up to the right. Way you it's annoying to log into all your accounts again and all that, that crap kind of that sucks. sucks but anyways the point i want to make is so so i uh i ordered the phone and it came a couple days before the weekend i just wanted to wait till the end of the week to get it activated uh because i was working and stuff and i log in to work through my phone so i don't want to have anything be jacked up so i had like a really decent amount of time to like go through the phone and like set up all the settings and like and like really look through the phone dude phones are a scam how do you mean? And I say that because okay, I'm a I'm a very tech savvy person, right? Like I've been I've been sure. I was I was coming into my adulthood as tech really took off, and I've been really kind of keeping it paying attention to tech. So there there is first off, everyone knows so much bloatware on the phone, right? Absolutely. Like dude. I had to delete like half the apps. I yep. disabled the other other half of half that was left. Only yes. about a quarter that was on there. Yes. But then, so then I started going through all the settings. There is so much crap that is sending your data to somebody else. Yep. There, there, that's like make all this crap that's going to like log down my battery and like yep. make it, it burn. Like yep. send this to this, do all this. Uh, do you want... It's like if you set this frame rate a little higher, it'll re decrease your battery life by a third. But, oh, boy, your menus will be smooth and it won't, like, stutter. And I'm yeah. like, if you are the average person, and like just, my mother, yeah, yeah, goes yeah. to get a phone, she's going to be like, why is the battery so low? And all of her data is getting sent to everyone everywhere. Yeah. It is a effing scam, dude. Um, It is. It is definitely <laughs> an effing scam. Um, just to further infuriate, infuriate you, I'm not exactly sure which company it was, but there are rumors that pretty soon advertisements will be coming to your lock screen so that when you want to get oh into boy. your phone, I hope you may see a little ad for well, the mean, new 30 Rock episode. Good thing they don't charge us like $1,000 for this piece of tech, right? That, look, when, when do our PCs have advertisements when you turn oh, them on? Oh, yeah, they do. No, but when you're on the internet, not just you turn on your computer and it's like, hey, here's McDonald's new chicken nugget. Oh, I mean, nothing like that. But if I like, if I like <laughs> go to certain places on my computer, then like, you know, some nudes pops up and I'll be like, what is this news thing? And you got to, you got to remove stuff. You oh, have to, yeah. Yeah. You, gotta it's go like, through. you have to be diligent. You do. And, and I turned off all that jazzy crap, dude. Like, I don't like, so I bet you, I probably extended my battery life by 25%. Yeah. The thing I hate about those apps that come just like imprinted on your phone because they paid, uh, right. they paid uh, Microsoft a certain fun sum to get their app permanently put onto your phone, like a Jay Z album right. or a Coldplay album, right. is that you never know if that app is integral to the phone or not. So, like right. when you first see it, 
if you're a layman, you're like, well, I don't know if I should delete this uh, my my email app Samsung because, free. Yeah, it's like if I delete this my my email app or this this workout app, what if the phone stops working, or what if that's integral for another function that right. the phone has? And I've never used any of those apps. Right. Three years down the line, you will never use yep. any of those apps, and they're just sitting there sucking data. Oh yeah, what's cool though sucking is sucking your uh, data, like. It S used to be D. you couldn't delete anything that was pre-installed on the phone. I remember now you days, can delete man. a lot of the crap because the new phone I think came with Spotify, came with Netflix. It came. With, I was like, what the hell? Why are yeah, all, like yeah, exactly? Like why are all those on there? And because uh, they paid Microsoft, well, right? <laughs> yeah, money right. To have those Samsung phones. or whatever. Samsung, but yeah. what you can also do now is you can actually disable the apps. So like yeah. the default internet browser that comes on the Samsung phone that is garbage, yeah. you can just disable it. So it won't update, it won't bloat your phone, it won't be sucking data. And I do that with everything I can. And I was just like, dude, it is nuts. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. I could, I was like, I, I was blown away. Like, cause, but I, and now, and now I have like a camera that's better than my Nikon, of course, in my pocket. <laughs> like, like, that's why do you thing, need a 50 dude. megapixel phone that's, in your pocket? Absolutely. I was thinking about this other day. Do you remember like the days of the camcorder? Mm -hmm. Do you remember camcorders? Oh yeah, dude, the big bulky put a VHS tape in it. Yeah. Records straight. Through. I had a uh, a, a Nikon Coolpix. Yeah, like a high eight camcorder. Yeah. I had one, dude. I loved it. I took that. I took that thing around, recorded stuff with it. Those days are forever gone because now you have like professional grade. Just yeah, people make movies on iPhones. Yeah, exactly. Like I am about like this new phone that I just got. When whenever I get rid of it. I'll just keep this thing and you'll be like, oh, if I want to record a movie, here we go. And just record it on this phone. Like, just delete all the crap off it. It's basically, you pay, so you can pay like a grand for will, like a high end will, camera camcorder. You will keep your old phone for about oh, two weeks and then you will never see it again. Old, oh, yeah. No, <laughs> you no, will yeah. never see At, your one, old phone. I have phone it in my again. lap right now because I have stuff screenshotted yeah. I want to talk about. I, but I, once yeah. I transfer all the apps over that I know I need yeah. and stuff, yeah, like, yeah. Because yeah, you're going through that transitional phase. This is the fun phase, though. I it love is, this it phase is. where you're walking around with two phones, but give it about. A week, maybe two weeks, and you will never see your old phone again. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It will definitely end just, up in a drawer and never turned on again for yeah. the rest of oh, your no, life. Oh, no, for sure. Because once I pull all the pictures off it and put it on, you know, put it on my computer and, and make sure all the apps are done. And yeah. yeah, dude, for sure. I couldn't even imagine looking at my old phone. No, I don't remember what no. it looks I'll like. I'll be like, ew, this is so small. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's what she said. Um, right. But anyways, to piggyback off of you the bloatware. You, um, dude, you know what else I heard is... Now, you know, obviously everything's becoming a subscription, right? So I heard that it, I think it was BMW, maybe it was Mercedes. Now, in order to have your, your heated seats to work, you have to get the subscription. You have to have plan. like eighteen dollars a month to get heated seats. I'm like, yeah, it's a subscription. They're in there, it's ready to go. It's a subscription plan, Jonas. Dude, you got to subscribe to your heated seats. Like. I would probably I like. I'm not into cars, so I don't care about buying a high end car like a Mercedes yes, or BMW, yes. but. I, now that I heard that, I would never buy one. Even if I was a millionaire, I'd be like, sorry, you ain't getting my money. F you. Get the hell out of here with that. Like, no. I don't even want heated seats. I don't even care about heated seats at all. <laughs> They're nice in the cl in the cold areas. Yeah, I don't but that much. we live in Texas. That's very true. Like, we don't need heated seats. When I lived in New York, I had I had a Cadillac with heated seats, and it was the nicest thing I've I ever bet, had. I bet, dude. That would be dude. sweet. Like, in Ohio, that would have been yeah. bomb. Like, just turn the seats on, like, all warm and toasty. Yeah. I, I'm hot all the time. I remember just driving along, and, and my girlfriend and her kid were asleep with heated seats. Just and they're just cozy yeah, like a little baby in the carriage. <laughs> and I was like a, I was like a proud, uh, I don't know. Chauffeur. Chauffeur, yeah. <laughs> a, proud a, pr a proud servant <laughs> proud that I gave all of my money to them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but dude, it's just, just be careful out there if you're getting new phones. Like, go through it and look at what they're doing. Yeah. And delete most of that ish. You don't need it. Dude, it's everything is like, oh, you got to make sure you have your Samsung account and cook, yeah. hook this up and your biometrics. Yeah. And dude, that as far as that face fa face verification, thumbprint shit, oh, get uh, that, that uh, F uh, out of here. Uh, I, I, do the, I do the thumbprint. Do you? I do. Uh, Samsung knows, knows who you are. Right now, dude. What the hell do I care? What are they gonna do? When you do? go out robbing banks or something, they're gonna have your thumbprint. I mean, deep fakes are already a thing, so. I mean, you, you ain't wrong, but yeah, dude, it's it was. They go through that much. For it was eye opening, me. and yes, I will probably I will probably keep this new. I've had my old phone for like five years. I'll probably keep this one for five years too. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. do a lot with my phone. I I mean, I do, but I, like, I need to find out if you can like uh, you can have like your battery replaced. How much that's gonna cost? The the batteries in these don't get replaced anymore. They don't replace the battery. They're built into the phone now. 
then so that's su- supposedly that gives you longer battery life. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it just cripples you with whatever. Yeah, battery remember life when you used to be able to have extra battery packs? You pop the back off and just slip the battery out. Pop right? the back off. Oh my god. Yeah, You're we going used to do way that. back. That was good. Though. You're going <laughs> yeah, way anyways, back. that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, once you do that, hit that notification bell for Jonas. TNT. Oh, we out.